Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. Here I have the Hot Wheels track set. Well, it could be a Hot Wheels play set. Aquaman vs. Black Manta Wave Wipeout. In the corner, you can see it has an Aquaman vehicle included. That is Side Draft. Side Draft. And it has special Aquaman graphics. This box set I found in Big Lots, $10. But I found it December of 2018. And you know what? It actually has a copyright of 2017. They used the regular side draft, gave it Aquaman decos. They've, they have Aquaman character cars. Here's the first Aquaman character car. May you, maybe you've seen this Justice League Aquaman character car. I'll give you a close-up on them uh, later on. Oh, wait a second. They changed Aquaman three times. One, two, three different car designs for Aquaman. I'll be testing all of them on this track set. And uh, next, I love tropical fish. So this blue wave piece is very appealing. Looks like a simple launcher set. You have a multi-speed launcher. Drift the giant tidal wave. So we're gonna drift up on the wave and we're gonna try to avoid Black Manta. It does say that it has a track connection point. This box was opened up in the store. It was torn. I uh, peeked in it, it looked like it had all the parts, so hopefully it does. Let's check it out. There's your instructions. Nice, nice blue parts. You gotta open it up a little better to get this, this big part out. There's your wave. There's the wave part. See-through, translucent. Two parts I gotta connect together. I might just be able to do it. Not even look at the instructions. Seems simple enough. Uh, let's see what else. Here's a launcher. We can figure that part out. Here's Black Manta. Has his weapon. Or her weapon. I'm not sure. I don't want to presume, you know. People get upset. I don't know. I don't know the characters. Uh, I have to figure out exactly how he's supposed to handle this. Or Black Manta is supposed to handle it. But it sure seems like it would uh, pop in like this. Well, that was, uh, that was easy enough. The only thing on the box, it said Black Manta, let's see, it says Black Manta has summoned, summoned a, let's start over. Black Manta has summoned a giant tidal wave to defeat his mortal enemy, Aquaman. Oh, so it is he. Launch your car to drift across the wave, race past Black Manta's swinging trident and escape to save the day. Well, how does it swing? Let's have a quick peek at the instructions. We pretty much got everything already. Down here in the corner, there you have it. Push to swing the trident. You know, some sets they have a little thing to where you like uh, spin it on the back and then it winds up and it causes something to rock. But this one, uh, this one's just manual. You just tap it and it swings back and forth. The only thing is, uh, it seems like it's down most of the time. I'll have to double check to see if I have it set up correctly. It does have a groove in the bottom so that it goes far down. Oh, you know what? Since it goes far down into the groove right there, uh, the car, if it's here, the car might sneak through. But if this is all the way down in the groove, when the car hits it, it's going to stop the car. So if it hits it when it's somewhere up here, it might be able to push past it. That's what we'll be testing out. Here's a close-up of Side Draft, in case you have not seen this model. It's had a lot of colors, but uh, we have I don't think we've had a new color in a couple of years. I think it was in a 5-pack. It might have been in another set. I'm not sure. But there you go. Let's go ahead and load up Side Draft. It is a multi-position launcher. You pull this back, and there'll be notches. That's one, two, three. You have three different notches. We'll go ahead and start on the smaller and work our way up. Thankfully, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Side Draft was the right car to include with the launcher, something that kicks it in the back. Because look, it's not even, it's giving it problems. I'm going to put it up on top of it like that. As you noticed, it did not come with the piece of track, so I'll go ahead and hook one up. Let me go ahead and start swinging. Well, it doesn't swing very good. It's the road. How can I move this to where it's not hitting the road? Look how it's hitting the road. Like, can I turn this? Oh, there you go. That's much better. Set. Go. Well, we're definitely going to need two notches. That wasn't enough. 
This time two notches. There's one, two, back it up. I'm going to, well, we'll just put it right like that. Start it rocking. Go. Oh, he fell upside down. Doesn't know how to ride the wave. Let's try three notches. One, two, three. Back it up. Sit. Oh, almost forgot. Go. Well, that didn't work too well either. This time I'm going to do three notches and then I'm going to have it to where it's on top like that. Well, no, he's sitting, he's sitting okay. Sit. Go. Not too much. Let's try two notches. Two notches. Back it up, buttercup. Go. Go. Well, that didn't work too well either. Let's think about the physics for a moment. Actually, let me see if I can take Manta off, Black Manta off. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to take it off. Well, we're just going to look at it like this. It'll be a little bit crooked. Well, let's try it like this. When you launch the car, the car is coming this way, and then it's going up around the curve, and then it's coming back this way. How's it going to come straight down the track when it's coming in at an angle like this? That part doesn't make sense. This part should have been angled with the curve. So as it's coming out of the curve, it's at that angle like this. Not with the roadway because you're not driving down the road like this. You're not, you don't have enough speed to come down the road. Let's just keep it simple. I took off Black Manta's weapon. And now let's go ahead and try the Hot Wheels character cars. That Aquaman, that's the very first Aquaman that was released. Pretty cool design, really heavy. It's like a torpedo. You know, Aquaman, he sw swims very fast. Take a look at that. Nice uh, flat spot for the launcher. Well, you might not think it's flat, but it is flat because it has a nice target for it to hit. Let me try two notches. Set, go. It came right off the track. Let me get a better camera angle. One notch. Hey, that made it. Let's try side draft again. One notch. Oh, that time you made it. How come we didn't make it during the demonstration? Let's go ahead and try another Aquaman. Here you have this version of Aquaman, which was released during the Justice League movie. It's a new body design. Let's go ahead and try it out. I don't know the launcher, it doesn't have a good flat surface, but I don't know. Let's try it out. What do you think of the model? I love the character cars, but they couldn't include it with the set because uh, these are $4 cars. One notch. Hey, it rolled out pretty good. I'm going to try two notches. Come back. Oh, now it's working. Hmm, should we attach a weapon? Well, since I got the weapon off, let's go ahead and try the other character cars. This is a new one for the Aqu Aquaman movie. You see right there, it says Aquaman, whereas the other one said Justice League, and it's a new body design. It is not the same. This one, you can see he has a weapon on top. This one here, kind of looks like he has like a trident in the back. Let's go ahead and try this version. One notch. Not enough. Come back. Two notches. Off the track. We'll do three notches. And don't forget, we're going to put the weapon on and we'll try that. Sit. Three notches. Uh, definitely too much power. Oh, yeah. Check this one out. Mira. Looks like it's a very, very good track car. Nothing funny sticking out. Nice and balanced. Let's check her out. One notch. Hey. Sit, go. Needs more speed. Two notches. Came off the track just a little bit, but still made it. Three notches. 
Mira. Go. Three notches is definitely too much. Let's go ahead and give Black Manta his weapon back and try him again. You know what I just noticed? In his hand, you can see a hole, and on here, it has a little hole. There's a bar, and then there's a hole. Let's go ahead and pop the hole into his hand. That would be the proper position. That's where they want us to set it up. And the other hand goes right there. Okay, let's go. Final test. I'm going to let Mira go first since she was last. One notch. Let's go ahead and swing it. Uh, one notch, not enough. Two notches. Swing it. Oh, flipped over. Let's try two notches again. Swing it. Oh, he blocked her. She went around smoothly before. Hmm. How come it, this shouldn't change anything? Pop. I guess it's just hard to find. It's hard to find the right spot. Huh. Uh, I think you should be done because one's not enough and two, you're crashing this time. Next. Aquaman. Two notches. Upside down. One notch. Stopped. Two notches. Oh, well, even if I was rocking it, I don't think that Aquaman would have made it through. This time, Aquaman barely sneaks through. I don't know if it's very exciting, though. Next, Aquaman. Set. Go. Finally, that that was a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting. Two notches. Boom. Come back. Two notches. One notch. And here's the card that come with the set. We didn't we were not successful before. Lock, one notch, one notch, chop, 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 two notches, oh no, well I don't know, I don't think I could recommend it, it's kind of frustrating, about as frustrating as Shark Beach Battle. That one was definitely not very good. I did like Aquarium Bash, however. That one, you know, Aquarium again has a water piece. And this piece is, this might be my favorite one from Wall Tracks. This one right here. This was from Boardwalk Blast. I used that piece in RGRC. Amanda helped me with that. She's my daughter. That's from some years ago if you want to check that out. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.